Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. All right, so June 2021, my first week in Minnesota. Yeah, it's been good. Been good. Been spending a lot of time with my family, which has been absolutely amazing. And as you can see, I am at my sister's beautiful house. She has been lovely enough to put us up while we are looking for our new house here in Minnesota. Whether she'll regret that uh, come a couple more weeks, I don't know. Which brings us to the house hunt, yes. There's a lake! Yeah, that's what I mean. We have a view of Minnawashka. Oh, that's Minnawashka. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know there's a view of that. We are going to a open house for a like 70s chateau style house that is absolutely amazing on 10 acres with quite a view, but it needs a lot of work. So we are just, uh, this is one of the options that we're looking at. So Paul and I have already looked at it. So my, I'm taking my sister and my parents to look at it. Uh, for this open house. So we gotta have our game faces on. We gotta sh can't show too much excitement. So get our game faces on. I even cool in some speedos. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Got something real special over here. Nice carpeted door. Yeah, probably need to keep that. Is it because it's like comes down? Yeah, probably goes back go down below. Yeah, and if you were to see it from behind, and just okay, so now this is the other option um, is buying a plot of land and building new. Uh, so this is the land. For these lots, we would work with an architect which has these, there's like a bunch of houses on this street made by this architect. I don't know. I think, I think, I think we're kind of thinking this might be yeah, this versus the place. chalet. The chalet is the wonderful too with that view. 70s chalet might be a bit much, but it is pretty magical. But this, I don't know, to be able to build our own house. You could get exactly what you wanted. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment below, let me know. So stay tuned. It could be that we go, don't go with either. So we'll just have to see. We're kind of particular with this move, with this house. We're very specific. We both have very specific tastes and we definitely don't want to compromise because we both don't really want to move for a long time. We really want to find a house that we love, you know, do it how we want it. And um, yeah, stay there for a while, raise our family there. I mean, we've just moved way too many times in the last couple of years. So we're ready to post up. With that, it is definitely slim pickings uh these days so it's been it's been a bit difficult but i'd say the biggest task the biggest thing for me this uh week is the unpacking so with that i thought i'd share how i like to unpack my stuff this has obviously been a lot simpler of an unpacking process because i'm not unpacking a whole house here are my tips on how i like to unpack first tip is to organize by category So whether you're moving into a, a house or your apartment or whatever it is, a bedroom, I always think organizing by category as you're moving in is the best way to go. So you're not like moving around boxes, shifting around boxes, you know, willy nilly as you're going. It's just a lot more, you know, efficient. Then my next tip is to separate from the chaos. So whatever room or space you're working in, separate the chaos from that room. So. Case in point, I'm trying to, you know, unpack all of our clothes. That's like the main thing that we need to unpack. 
So I'm in the walk-in closet in my sister's guest bedroom and I'm keeping all of the clothes in the electrical room. I've got these big like blue Ikea looking bags that have the clothes in it. But it just makes it a lot less overwhelming so you don't have like a bunch of stuff like in your face. You just work on one thing at a time. Next one is to start off easy. Easy to unpack, easy to place. Uh, so for an example, with the closet, I'm unpacking the pants first because it's just easy to pop them right up on the shelf and just get those out of the way, get all the easy stuff out of the way because then it just doesn't seem as daunting. So I've already basically organized my uh, bottoms, uh, black jeans, dark denim jeans, light denim jeans, and then these are like just pants. <laughs> As you can see, I love my jeans. Um, so, and then I normally put like all my other bottoms. Um, I do have some other bottoms that are still in the, in the wash that'll go with the pants, I think. Yeah, so now I'm gonna get started on some hanging stuff. For me, I don't really pack seasonally uh, for the most part. I've got a pretty pared down wardrobe and have usually been pretty lucky to have a space. And like I said, I always usually purchase clothes that can be worn all year round for the most part. Like obviously I'm not gonna be wearing turtleneck, long sleeve turtlenecks um, in, you know, 95 degree, 50% humidity type weather, but, or on those, you know, cooler, maybe summer nights, I don't know. Uh, I could wear that because they're all 100% cotton. So yeah, for the most part, I don't do that. I will say because I only wear sleeveless tops or tank tops in the summertime, like when it's prime time heat, I do actually store away or like, not necessarily store away, but I might put it in like the guest closet or something like that, um, all my tank tops and sleeveless tops because those I only wear for a very specific amount of time uh, in the summertime. So next tip is then as soon as you're finished with something, get rid of the empties. You know, whether it's putting them in your garage, storage room, whatever it is, um, just to get them out of your sight because then it just, again, makes it a lot less overwhelming. And it's very therapeutic. It's very therapeutic, right? It's like checking off a checklist. And my last little tip is just to take your time. The beautiful thing about moving in some place that has like empty space is that you're kind of starting fresh. You're starting new with like a blank slate. So it's the perfect time to kind of take your time, organize, really figure out like an efficient sort of way you want to place things. All right, back to it after a little bit of a break. Um, and now after coming back to it, I can't decide if I want to organize it by category or by color because I always kind of do one or the other and lately probably for like the last year I've been organizing by category which I do like because I feel like it's very efficient but it's also been bothering me because it's not very satisfying or it's not very clean looking because the colors are all over the place so I don't know I did decide to go by color. I just, since it's, you know, it's such a temporary situation, I just think it looks so much cleaner and nicer and welcome, more welcoming. Um, and it's just more satisfying for me. Um, so yeah, went with organizing by color and I degraded. So going from black to like my beige, gray, white, and all my stripes and uh, colors. As you can see, I wear a lot of color. For now, I am done. 
quick little lightning round of tips. All right, guys, there we go. That was my week. Again, super happy to be here. Really excited for this new chapter. And uh, yeah, excited to bring you guys along with me on this vlog. I am gonna get back on the tutorials uh, now that I've got all my camera equipment. Um, so for those of you that for tutorials or the vlogs, don't worry, they are coming back. So uh, definitely stay tuned for those. Um, but yeah, with that, uh, I hope that all of you guys are having a lovely beginning to your summer, a lovely June. Hopefully you're staying cool. It has been psychotically hot here in Minnesota. All right, you guys, you know what to do. If you liked today's episode, give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends and subscribe for future weekly episodes. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other. And we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye. Money.